As far as the, uh, the partners, obviously it's the uh, Concordia University, uh, Ecole Polytechnique and the University of Sherbrooke or University of Sherbrooke. Um, uh, it's, uh, in fact, it's the continuing education departments of those various universities and at Concordia it's the School of Extended Learning that will be running the courses. We're the English language partner in a, in a trio and uh, we're looking forward to a long partnership and we have a range of courses starting this January and uh, continuing beyond there. Well, we'll be offering uh, courses in, in English. Uh, there are already a large number of courses offered in French, but there is a, a, a demand for English courses, and uh, we, I think currently we have about 10, 10 courses that will be offered this coming year. We expect that to grow with time. On the large scale, it's for Concordia to be able to provide outreach, professional development opportunities uh, for in-service and not just pre-service training, in this case, of engineers. The uh, regulation uh, in Quebec affects all professions within Quebec, so we are actively seeking partnerships uh, with other uh, universities and faculties to be able to deliver professional development for other professions uh, that might be interested. I think this was an opportunity to actually offer courses through Concordia. It gives it, it uh, raises the profile of Concordia and it's a great outreach for the, for the community as a whole, for the engineering community obviously, mostly. I think it's uh, really kind of bridging the past and our uh, roots at Concordia with the future expectations of the community around uh, professional development and training.